this is you. You want to start your own business. In fact, you want to attempt an internet broadcasting, publishing, or research startup. But you don't know much about the industry, small business, or startups in general. So you take a look. You discover that there is a little over 7 billion people in the world. Of those people, 2.4 billion of them use the internet. 1 billion of them use Facebook. And 1.4 billion use smartphones. So in total, you find that 4.8 billion people use the internet, Facebook, and smartphones, which is about 68% of people in the world. So far, your internet broadcasting, publishing, or research startup is looking good. Now let's look at small businesses in the United States of America. 99% of all businesses in the United States are small businesses, but account only for 30% of the total payroll in the United States. Also in the United States, internet broadcasting, publishing, or research businesses account for a little over 74 million individual businesses. Those businesses in turn employ 462 million people and result in over $51 billion in payroll. This breaks down to about 111000 per person, each working in small businesses in the United States. For your internet broadcasting, publishing, or research small business, you also have to consider startup costs. Startup costs, of course, vary from country to country. If you wanted to start up a new small business in, let's say, India, for example, the cost would be over $2,000. However, if you wanted to start up a business in the United States of America, the cost is relatively cheap and would be roughly $325. So starting up a business in the United States seems like a viable option. However, 543,000 new businesses get started each month in the U.S. And 52% of those businesses are home-based businesses. Finally, before creating your startup business, you may want to look at business longevity. 7 out of 10 small businesses survive at least 2 years. Half of those survive at least five years, a third of those at least 10 years, and only a fourth of them stay in business 15 years or more. So now that you have a little bit more information about your customer base, startup costs, and the survival or longevity of businesses, you may want to ask yourself, should I attempt an internet broadcasting, publishing, or research startup?